Hello guys and welcome to the video. My name is Nawira Radwan and you are tuned to photomanipulation.com. In this video, I will show you a really good technique on how to do the double light effects in Photoshop. If you are interested in photo manipulation techniques or considering a career in digital art, make sure to like and subscribe as we put five videos a week. Let's roll to the video. Enjoy. <music> First step to do is to get the picture of the model that you want to apply the double light effects on. I got mine from Adobe Stock websites. The link is going to be in the description down below. And then cut the model from the background. Add a new layer and then click on Shift Ctrl Alt E to merge all the layers above. And then go to Filter, 3D and then click Generate Pump Height Map. And now Photoshop will automatically make a pump height map for you. Click OK. Now we have the bump height map image. Click on Ctrl I to inverse it. And then go to Edit. What? Your computer is too old to handle this 3D stuff and you can't use the height map? Well, don't worry about it. I have another technique for my fellow low end PC users. Again, click Shift Ctrl Alt E to merge all the layers above. Click Ctrl U and then decrease the saturation all the way down. And then go to Image and click Apply Image. Set the blending mode to multiply and then click OK. Now go to filter, blur and then Gaussian blur. Add a value of 6 to 12 and then click OK. Duplicate the layer and then set the blending mode to multiply. And then duplicate it again and set it to screen this time. Add more blur to both layers. And then add a new levels adjustment layer at the top. Decrease white level and increase the midtones. And then select the four layers and merge them by clicking on Ctrl plus E. Congratulations, you just did it. Now let's carry on. Go to edit and click on define pattern. Now we are making a new pattern. Name it whatever you want to name it. I will name it next lesson BSD and click OK. Now let's delete the height map layer because we don't need this anymore. I will add a new layer and keep it to the model and then select red color with a soft brush. And then paint on her right side and then select the blue color and paint on the left side and set the blending mode to soft light and decrease the opacity to 60 percent now as you can see it doesn't look very good it looks fake and flat and to fix that we are going to apply our technique check bevel and emboss and go to texture and select the pattern that we made and set the depth to plus 500 and make sure the scale is 100 go back to bevel and now focus it's very simple depth is for depth and size is for size and soften is for soften you can tell by the title of the uh, option i just recommend uh, increase the soften all the way up and Decrease the opacity all the way down on the shadow mode because we don't want the black color and increase the opacity in the highlight mode and change the color to red. You can leave it at screen but I prefer to change it to soft light because it's way more stronger. And, the, and for this curve right here it does the job of this option right here. You can manually control them from there or you can just add this curve and control the depth and size and soften by creating new points and move them but i prefer to uh, mess with the settings right here so here's my recommendations i set the depth to 200 and the size from 20 to 30 and soften all the way up to 16 it's different from image to image uh, it depends really on the resolution of the image that you are working on and then let's go to this fx icon and click on create layers and what's going to do is going to turn the bevel effect to a new layer and it will automatically clip it to the image mask it out and with a soft brush and white color paint on the right side so we don't have the red color on the left side and as you can see the bevel effect is light in the areas that the light supposed to touch it does all the job for you so you don't have to guess where to paint the uh, red color
Now click twice on the image and let's do the same steps but this time make sure it's minus 500 and go to bevel and impulse and change the color to blue color. Try to increase the size let's make it more uh, visible and let's click OK. Again create layers and move it to above and mask it out and with a soft brush and white color paint on the other side to add the depth make sure not to go to the uh, red light area on her uh, right side if you get a weird looking pump on her face just mix, just paint black on it to mask it out sorry and as you can see the technique really added more depth to her face and it looks like the lights it's really hitting her face it doesn't look flat anymore Make a new layer and set the blending mode to soft light and pick the color of the light source and paint on the edges in her face and body because sometimes the bump height map doesn't work really well unless you take your time with it. Now if you take a look on this area of her body is not working really well and that's because it's out of focus in the uh, original image. So don't worry we have a solution for that just merge all the layers and go to filter blur gallery and fill the blur and Take the point on her face and set it to zero because we don't want it to be blurred we want it to be sharp and add two points on the edges that you want to blur and increase the value to 50 and 30 and make sure to work on a really high resolution image so you don't have to face these issues uh, we can uh, <clears throat> sorry i meant we can work more on the hair and that's by merging all the layers together again by clicking shift ctrl alt e and then decrease the saturation all the way down but this time we are not going to create a 3d map we are just going to make a high contrast using levels adjustment layer and then define it as a new pattern let's do the steps again sorry the steps and then let's select our new texture that we just made this time let's mess with the settings and try to get it sharp Uh, for me it worked from the first try so let's just make it a new layer and then mask it out and paint on the hair only and as you can see I didn't uh, cut the hair uh, I didn't do a good job with the hair cutting it's it looks so uh, fake it it looks like the picture was cut from uh, a background and it's because it's for the sake of the tutorial because I want to explain the uh, technique but you can take your time and count the model that you want uh, more accurately I don't even know if that word exists <laughs> so let's do the same with the uh, left side for the uh, blue light paint on her hair and we got a really good result what I suggest to do next is do a quick uh, freak, 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 I give up, uh, I give up, frequency separation uh, uh, retouch, take your time with it just to soften the uh, bump uh, texture on her face, don't go too far and make it look plastic, make sure to decrease the opacity after you are finished, and to give it a look that there was a light source let's paint with a soft brush with a red color on the right side and blue in the left side just to give it a, an illusion that there was lights and yeah you can go far and mess with the colors and lighting maybe add camera raw filter and do whatever you want to do with it as long as you add the light now and remember guys these techniques doesn't only work for uh, faces and double light uh, effects you can apply it to any object that you can make a height map for it uh, you it can be useful for concept art or digital art or 3d anything uh, so yeah that was the lesson for today i will see you in the next lessons uh, goodbye